It's kind of strange to be standing here on this plot of land. Pretty soon, this will be cleared, homes will be built, and families will be formed, and kids will graduate high school, and weddings will occur. We're actually building the foundation through which kids are going to grow up and shape themselves and mold themselves. This project obviously matters a lot to us uh, in East Kyle, and it's going to bring a lot of needed infrastructure, not only the school that was mentioned, but also Major Road and Grist Mill. What I would say about Ari, it's just really clear to me uh, that your heart is in this community and that you're trying to put together a project that's going to work in a modern environment. And so uh, on behalf of the City Council, thank you. The vision of what's going to happen here um, seems just so beautiful for families and moving here and becoming part of their life. You're bulldozing trees and you're building things. You come to a realization that you can't build something unless you break something. It's just how nature works. So I figured if I was going to cut down a tree, what could I put instead that could better what that is? To improve on God's work is basically impossible, right? So when people look at this and they see houses that'll come, we see homes. When you see tenants in apartment complexes, we see neighbors. You'll see retail strip centers. We see entrepreneurs, small businesses, and the lifeblood of our country. We believe in marrying mathematics with humanity, not forgetting that these are people. 11 acres of this we donated to the city of Kyle to build through elementary school. And a lot of developers might have looked at that and saw a loss of 11 acres. We didn't. We saw the purpose of why we are building community, which is new young minds growing, cultivating. And the diversity of the viewpoints that are in this thing, there is representations of just about every religion, demographic, ethnicity, culture, viewpoint, all here in this room. And I could not be more proud of that. In this day and age, we have bigger houses, but more broken families. We have more information, but less wisdom. We have closer proximity, but no depth. And the hope and the vision for what this is, is to be with the hope and vision of what our great country was. It's the land of immigrants, a land of diversity, a land of opportunity that was by the people and for the people. It's really not just a company. It's, they become your family. And if you're an investor, you already know this. In fact, when my husband was in the hospital and they had just told us that there was not a chance he was gonna survive, he looked over at me and he said, you know what? I wanna start calling my friends. I have this chance to say goodbye. And the very, sorry, the very first person that he wanted to talk to was our it was three o'clock in the morning Thanksgiving and I dialed the phone and Ari answered my sweet husband sorry was able to say goodbye who had my husband had become Ari and Austin Ari and my husband had become best friends over the 22 years that they knew each other and since losing him suddenly and unexpectedly, Ari and the entire Rostigar family has shown up for me on multiple occasions without hesitation. That's what you get when you become part of the Rostigar family. It's not just a company, it's not just a team, it's a family. Your call will be answered at three o'clock in the morning, not just by Ari, but the entire team. When you take on the responsibility of building an entire mini city, you have to think of the core value which it existed. And where I come from, my father being an Iranian man coming from an ancient culture, looking back and seeing where you came from is the only way to respect and understand where you're going. 